Hi everyone, this is a tutorial video to help you learn how to make an outline. You should have already made an outline of chapter 1.4, so I have a sample of that here for you. Just a quick tour of the outline and what the requirements are. We have a chapter section here, which is marked with a capital Roman numeral. We have in capitals an introductory paragraph title, and then information that goes in that introductory paragraph. Notice specific examples are in italics. And notice that our first blue section that we come to in the textbook is tabbed in one level because it's a little more specific than our chapter section. And notice that it is in blue font here. And notice also that it's in all capital letters. Notice the structure of the information. As you tab in, you get more specific, and as you tab out, you get less specific or more general. Notice vocabulary is in bold, and notice that examples are in italics. Notice that things in the outline that are of equal importance are lined up underneath one another. Notice that there's a predictable system of organization. The thing that matters in an outline is that your system makes sense. So if you set up your outline with a Roman numeral one, and then this is a one, and that's an A, and that's a B, and because this is a one, then that would be a two, that's okay. You don't have to do it exactly this way. But the thing that you do have to have is a structure that makes sense. So you have some freedom as to how to set up the outlining structure and Google Docs and Microsoft Word will structure the outline for you anyway, so you don't really have to do too much thinking about it. When you make an outline, you should never be entering A period, B period, two. Uh, the computer should be doing this for you. And if it's not, then we have a problem. So anyway, let's scroll through this and we're going to get to our first green section. And green sections are always one level inside of the blue sections that they're within. And notice all green sections are of equal importance and they line up with each other. And then notice as we scroll down, we get to our next blue section. So this blue section, derived quantities, is going to line up with the previous blue section, which is way up here. And you might be wondering about this. This is technically not in the book. There's no part of the book that says intro paragraph. But I created this little title to help organize the structure of it. Um, sometimes it's hard to figure out how to get the intro paragraph information incorporated into your outline. So I just invented this little method of typing up intro paragraph. And then you can line that up with these. So anyway, you see the rest of this. And that takes care of the tour of the outline. Let's look at the rubric. So every rubric that I give you will have some things that you need to make sure that you include and things that you have to skip. There are three grading categories on every outline. The first is how much information is in the outline. And if you have every piece of information from the text, that might be a little bit overdoing it. It's really your job to decide what pieces of info in the text are worth including and what pieces are worth leaving out. And it is a true art to figure out how to do that, and it takes lots of practice. So notice that if you copy too much from the text, you could still you could get a four. So you don't want to copy information from the text unless it's like a definition. Um, you want to reword it and sort of break it down into code, or almost like caveman talk, solids equal cubic meters or cubic centimeters. Um, you are not writing grammatically correct sentences, and you're definitely not using punctuation. You're just grabbing information from the text and outlining it very quickly to get it. Um, so the grading includes how much information. The second category is the structure and the setup of the outline. And you'll notice that there are some samples here. If you want to click on these samples, 
it'll show you what a two is, what a, uh, I'm sorry, what a zero is, what a one is, and what a two is. And those samples might really help you. And when I grade the structure of an outline, I just look at how much indenting is going on. And the more indenting I see, the deeper the connections are that the student is making when they're reading. And that's what we want. Also, the system has to make sense. It has to be predictable. If that's a one, then the next green section has to be a two. If you choose to make it an A, then the next one has to be a B. It must be predictable. And finally, the third category are rules. Make sure that vocabs in bold, examples are in italics, green section titles are underlined, blue section titles are all capitals. If you happen to be handwriting an outline, instead of italicizing, you can write in cursive or you can just write EX and that will tell me that it's an example. You can highlight if you're handwriting to show bold vocab terms and that's okay. And notice just two other things. The math break has to be included and you have to put a little box around it so it's easy to find and the bio connection box that as well. Every outline, when you complete it, you should staple your rubric to the cover and you should self-evaluate it, which means just circle the score that you think you earned. Any notes you want me to know, you can write in right here, so I'll get them. Turn to page 36, and now we're going to look at chapter 2, section 1, which is the next outline that you're going to tackle. And this will be a graded outline. So here's a quick tour. Here's the section title, What is Matter? Here's the intro paragraph. Here's our first blue section. Here's our second blue section. Notice we have a little bit of vocab appearing. This information is important, but obviously the vocabulary is as well. Notice they're referring to a figure. And don't skip the figures. The figures really help if you look at them. And make sure that you have information from the figures included in your outline. Here's the second page. And we get to our first green section and then our second green section. Don't forget, we've got some good examples in here talking about liquid volume. Here's another example. Here's something you can relate to. And here's a term, the meniscus. And here's a little side on brain food, kind of an interesting little thing here. And then a good picture. So you might be wondering, why do we outline? What's the point? Um, this is a skill that you'll use as a student for the rest of your life. And It's designed to give you the skill of being able to figure out the central ideas in a book or in a text or on a website. As you're reading text, you should be able to pick out the central ideas and you should be able to tell all the, the rest of the stuff in the book that's, or the text that's not important. So you should be able to sort of pick out the key ideas. Also, you should be able to determine the meaning of the terms that are used in the text. And finally, it's important to learn how to analyze the structure that an author uses. Um, and that sort of gives you a, an advantage as you're reading through the text or the, whatever it happens to be, a book or a website. And again, this is a skill you'll use forever and you can use it in any class for the rest of your life. So now what I want you to do is pause the video and I want you to read the first page. This would be page 36. And then when you're done, I want you to unpause the video. Okay, you're back. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to my drive and I'm going to open a brand new document. And I'm going to get you started on an outline. First thing you should always do is title your doc. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is kick the computer into outlining mode. And you can do that by clicking this little thingy. And if you want to click the triangle down arrow, it will give you these things. And so what you'll do is type in the section title. And notice a 2 appears. And that is essential. That must happen. And now watch what happens. If I hit tab, it automatically changes. Watch this. Shift, tab, moves it back. So tab goes in, shift, tab, goes back. And you now set up your outline and you begin outlining chapter 2.1. Good luck. Follow the rubric and do your best. Thank you.